Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on drawing a non-horizontal line to find approximate solutions to an equation. Now in a previous video on this particular topic, we saw that when we're trying to solve this equation 2x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals minus 4x plus 1, we could use something like the quadratic formula to solve this and get exact solutions. But actually we're not using that technique here. What we're doing is we're trying to sketch some graphs, some lines, to kind of approximate the solution to this equation. And if they say in the question you have to draw a suitable line, then you do need to use a graph-based method, a graphical method, and not use a quadratic formula or factorising. Now, I showed you the kind of general steps in the previous video, and it was this. We start with the original equation we're solving. So this is the equation we're trying to solve here. So let's just write that down. We've got 2x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals minus 4x plus 1. Step two is to manipulate the equation until you see the equation of the graph on one side. Now what I mean by this is we've got a graph sketched here of y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 5, so we need to manipulate this equation we're solving until we see this expression 2x squared plus 4x plus 5 on one side of the equation. Well, we already have 2x squared plus 4x plus 5 on one side of the equation, so we don't need to do step 2. But in a subsequent video, we'll look at problems where actually you do need to manipulate both sides of the equation. And then step 3 is to sketch each side of the equation, so we sketch y equals the left-hand side of our equation, and y equals the right-hand side of our equation. And then finally, you read off the points of intersection. So if we do step three, we want to sketch y equals the left-hand side. So we want to sketch y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. And we want to sketch y equals the right-hand side. So y equals minus 4x plus 1. Now, we've already got a sketch of y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. That's this graph here. So we just need to sketch the other side of our equation, y equals minus 4x plus 1. So that's a straight line equation, y equals mx plus c. The c here is 1, that will be our y-intercept, so let's draw that here. And the gradient is minus 4, so it will be going downhill. The easiest way to plot this is to just choose a value of x. If, for example, x was minus 4, so over here, minus 4 times minus 4 would be 16, plus 1 would be 17. So on this straight line equation, when x is minus 4 and we substitute minus 4 into it, we get y is 17. So minus 4, 17 will be up here. And then we can just connect this uh, using a straight line. You would usually have a ruler. So there's our line. And then the final step is to read off the points of intersection. So where do these two lines cross. We can see they cross here and we can see they cross about here. So this is just going to be approximate and usually we'd have a more accurate graph but we think that the value of x is approximately, and that's approximately equal to symbol, uh, I would say that's minus 3.5-ish. And I would say, sorry I made a mistake here, is maybe minus 0.6. So now we've got these values of x. And by the way, we're only interested in the values of x here, not the values of y. Because look at this equation. We're solving in terms of x. There's no y involved here. So we've got these two approximations. And in fact, if we find exact solutions to this equation using the quadratic formula, we can see how good my estimates are. So we actually have solutions of minus 0.5857. Well, that's good enough to one decimal place. And the other one is minus 3.414, which is close enough. I was off by 0.1 to the nearest one decimal place, but that's good enough, and you would have a more accurate graph. In the next video, we'll look at when you have to manipulate both sides of the equations first, so there will be a step two that makes it slightly harder.